Welcome, friends. It's your old pal, Sir Nigel, here with some Heroes of the Storm. I just recently started playing this, just the other day. And I found out I actually kind of enjoy it, so I thought I'd play some more and take you along for it. You can see we're playing Muradin. That's the hero we've chosen. And we're going to play in in a co-op match with other players against uh, an AI team. So let's play. Heroes. So this is the towers map oh, where you have to capture the various towers. So they'll, they'll fire their cannons at uh, the enemy team. We are going to take the middle lane. Now, what I've found about Muradin is he's not the strongest when first starting out. When when you first start out as Muradin, um, he's not he's not too terribly strong. But after you level up some and gain some power, he gets pretty beefy. We'll focus on the minions some here, just to uh, make sure we get some good XP for our team. While staying away from that side of the map, because we, we don't want to uh, get in range of their towers. Come here minions, let's, let's smack the heck out of you. And it does look like we have a teammate here in the middle lane with us, so that's good. And we're leading on the levels, which, I mean, I should really hope we would be, considering we're up against an AI team. Get some of our big smackers out while uh, keeping a careful watch on our health now get him get him oh we missed come back here and heal some in fact i think we'll go to the healing well which is right here and speed up our healing once we get some levels then we'll get pretty tanky and we won't have to uh, run back to the healing well as much let's come back here so we can choose a talent that's a good one. Now, if we can uh, get our... There we go. If we can get our uh, ranged attack up quickly enough. Ooh, that was nice. Then we can get another stun in there. But right now we're going to have to back off and heal some. We can't go back to the healing well just yet. So we just have to wander around and let our uh, let our auto regen start regening. But in the meantime, we'll come over here and capture the tower as soon as it comes up, or the altar, as they call it. Capture the altar, so that way, when the towers come, the cannons, we'll have this altar on our side. And it looks like at least this particular altar is pretty uncontested, so that's good. There we got this one. And if you look at the core values at the top of the screen, it looks like we are ahead in that as well. We'll just gain some more nice XP here. For our team. Oh, there's an enemy hero there. I didn't even notice. We're just about ready for the uh, the healing well again, though. So. Enemy over there. This room is mine. There, much better. Oh, he's just out of range. Just out of range. Still not quite tanky enough 
to, to really 1v1 someone just yet. We need a few more levels first. And now the other team's ahead of us on levels. That's great. Choose a talent. Get that talent there. This particular map is a little tricky because you do need to focus on levels, certainly. And you need to focus on the enemy heroes, of course. But you also need to focus on the, the towers and making sure that, that you have the towers. Because that's what really wins the game for you. Okay, the altars are coming, so we gotta go get ourselves some. Make sure we get this altar right here, and it looks like we have a teammate here to help us out. Even though it looks like this altar is uncontested, well, it's contested now. And off they go, so we can just grab this altar just like that. Oh, at least we're ahead on the towers, on the cores. We're ahead on there even if we're not actually ahead on the levels. I think one of the main reasons we're not ahead on the levels is just because most of my team isn't focusing that much on gaining XP. I think we're mostly just focused on gaining the altars. That's more like it. Take out this target. But, for anyone that's played this game or is even somewhat familiar with it, you know that in order for your characters to gain strength and more talents and everything, you need to be focused at least somewhat on XP. Otherwise, the other team really can gain an advantage. And you don't want them to have the advantage. And don't forget to pick up orbs when you can. Let's see, we'll get that one. Make ourselves a little tankier. It seems like a lot of players tend to forget to pick up orbs and just leave them laying around. You got to make sure and pick up orbs. There we go. That should take care of him. And... We'll head down here to get this tower. We could pick up some mercenaries and things at one of these camps. But in this particular game mode, on this particular map, I don't know how helpful it would be. For anyone unfamiliar with Heroes of the Storm, the way it works is there are a variety of different maps, and each map is played in a slightly different way. This is one of the more unusual ones in that you um, you don't play it like you would in normal MOBA as much, where you're not... You're, come on, where's my E? There's my E. You're not um, trying to go directly after the core like you would on a lot of MOBAs. You are instead having to capture those altars like you've seen. Which in, t which in turn gives you access to cannons which then fire at your enemy's core. And that's how you win with this map. Well done. We're still a little behind on levels. Now, even though we are behind on levels, if, if we're careful, we should still be able to win. The altars are rising from the mists. Choose a talent. Okay, let's go with that one right there. And then head down for this tower here. Or because we have another teammate there, maybe we should go down to this altar here. It's out of our lane a bit. But that's okay because there's no one else here. No other teammate here. So we'll just take care of this one. Do not disappoint me. 
The Raven Lord will fall before me. Let the assault begin. Beautiful. We should be good. We should be good for this map. Just a few more altars, and we should be good. I know they all want, the rest of the team wants to gang up on one of the enemy heroes, but they need to remember to continue to focus at least somewhat on the minions and on uh, these towers too. The enemy structures, because you do get good experience from the enemy structures and you get some um, you, you get some more powerful minions by destroying some of the enemy structures okay now we'll go back to get more uh, altars Now we're getting a little beefier. The enemy has taken a Just a little bit. And so they return. Give us this thing. Quickly, heroes. Fire the towers. There's another tower for us. And that one. That talent right there. I think one more round of altars and towers and we should we should win. Having this this other hero here on our side isn't particularly helpful for my abilities because I have a close range a close range area of attack. And if he keeps knocking away all the minions, then I can't use my area of attack so well. Do not let them take our towers. Yes! Send his servants to their grave! Just have to watch for the altars to come up again. So then we can win this sucker. And now we're finally ahead on levels. Finally. Heroes, I have opened a tunnel near our core that leads to the battleground center. Use right it well. On. And let's go grab. My heroes shall have this gift as well. <laughs> My altar, another let's go grab this one right down here. It looks like we are the only one on our team on this uh, altar. I keep wanting to call them towers because that's what they look like, but I guess they're altars. Go! Do not let the altars fall into the Raven Lord's talons. Beautiful. Will this win it right here? Almost, just three away. Just three away from winning. Well, we'll head back to the middle lane. Where we are stationed. Move it. Mayhem. We'll wade in here a little bit. A one more round of towers and altars and we should win. And it looks like the, the enemy has rebuilt Your enemies fall. their tower thing here. But it, we're, uh, they have a slowed and we're the only one on it. So we can't take it down by ourselves. Just hop back here and do a little regeneration. Pop some of that. And that one. Out of my way. It's out of my way. 
No, we don't want to get too deep into their base. The altars stand ready. The we'll use our, our super mega form here just so we can make sure that we were able to get out of that situation. But we're about to win and we win! Victory! MVP. Look at us, we're even the MVP! That's a good! Hooray! And we got a vote! Very nice. We could vote for ourselves, but that would be a bit... a bit silly. So... Hooray! So there we go, there's some Heroes of the Storm, a game I just started playing recently and have actually been enjoying quite a bit. Let me know what you think of Heroes of the Storm. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and liking is magic. And tune in again next time for more fun.